Now, we begin. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Jeremy. I was back with some more Lowry gameplay. I'm going to try to do better than last game. You, yesterday, that was unacceptable. All right, that orm matchup where I basically brain AFK'd and died under turret. What a joke. But, uh, you know, we're versus Riven. A much more volatile matchup. A very, very uh, different from the Orn, for sure. Still, still similar amounts of CCs, though. You know, Riven's got the stun and the knockup. Orn's got two knockups. But, uh, we're, of course, we're kind of AFKing early on because Riven's Q auto, Q auto, Q auto, auto is going to out damage my auto attack and then AFK. Or, my, sorry, my auto attack Q AFK. Which is the what I can get off in the same amount of time. Which is pretty cool. We are running first strike, of course. This game kind of star studded, honestly. I'm kind of interested to see how it goes. We got we got uh, Anthony Evelyn on the jungle playing Anthony Anything. So we got the uh, Zed match uh, or Zed gameplay. Uh, and then we have Geo on the Echo. Geo is an absolute amazing uh, Echo one trick challenger player. So we'll see how this goes. I cannot hold this too many, and I think Echo might be up here. Yeah, hey, we're level 3. I thought I get to be a champ. Yes! Perfectly done! I'm so bad. So what we're gonna try to do is, like, try to time our, like... It's kind of like playing versus an Aurelia, in that, um... <laughs> Please, let me leap! And that you want to try to predict her like movement. Vilas was actually running up here. It's pretty interesting. I mean, not too much to do there. Riven has high mobility. She has that uh, rune that lets her get increased move speed after using a summoner spell. Just like that. I don't get first strike, but I'm going to get a gnarly trade. Oh. Let's hold the, the range minions right here. You got Emax just for the lower cooldown. What are you doing, my dude? Beautiful. Every time. So good. Okay, we got a little close there. I see a Echo in the mid. I actually can't say I'll die to Echo. We do not want to let uh, Geo pop off. It's not happening. So I'm going to go ahead and reset safely. I knew Riven didn't have Flash, so I knew I could like, kind of outplay that portion of the uh, 1v1. I'll go Fade. It's going to help. I'm going to come help. Bill, Bill rise up. You right there, buddy? Are you sure you're okay, my dude? They're shameless, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get back to top. Four, three. We're gonna have good. We're gonna have good, uh. Kind of cool here. Yeah. Oh! So close, man. Need level six. Absolutely shameless being able to trade like that when I'm six and they're not six, but beautiful. There we go. Big trade. Every time we hit those E's, all that health we lost, we can regenerate. And once we get level six, the beauty of level six is that it really makes our 1v2 potential go up through the roof. So it's going to deter the gank at the very least. Or if he does come up here. Oh, we go for the dive. Boom, baby, the dirty dive. Play and back. Cool. I'm going for Emax this game because Riven's Riven's dashy but squishy. So what that means is that we need to have we're gonna have a lower percent hit rate on the E, and by having more E's up, we can we can we can go for those E's that maybe will or won't hit. And everyone that does hit is a big like W. And everyone that we miss, we kind of just have to AFK for you know the the 13 seconds or whatever. Well, it comes back up. 
whereas the Q damage increase on her tentacles isn't that big of a deal. Uh, because she's so squishy, we should just kill her anyways if we if we play to the appropriate like like setup. Um really do be like that. Is that no flash? So that means uh, ribbon no flash, because they flash at the same time. Bad. That's bad. Yeah, whatever. It's gonna push into us, so we can just kinda ape I went tabbies early, uh, because movement and defensiveness versus ribbon. Ribbon can do a lot of auto attack damage. I wish we could lend, lend some more ease. Like, uh, with like, land more first strike. You're so greedy, yeah. So greedy, man. I saw this range minion and I knew she was gonna go for it, but there's absolutely no reason to because the she's gonna have to use her dash to get to it, and it's just it's so bad because it basically just opens her up to the E so easily, and it's a range minion which is like 14 gold. Why? I'm not sure why Viego's up here. Oh, we have a. Port Viego. I didn't realize that. It's fine, but it's kind of weird. An ally has been ah. Not quite, but we have the tentacle setup that's golden. We're going to be able to just, as you can see, just push this wave really quickly. And this is how you keep the kind of the, the lane state advantage. Again, she keeps, uh, she's being good about, like, procking my my uh, first strike, and this is why like first strike's gonna fall off as you get the higher elo. Higher elo players are just gonna know like how they can uh, interact with your first strike effectively to de to deny you the gold increase. I really don't perceive it to be a rune that's gonna do well as we get higher and higher, but we'll keep we'll keep working at it and see what we can do. We're going to get the fruits. I'm gonna look for another dirty dive. Tentacles? One more? Oh, not quite. These silos, we don't know where Echo is. It's kind of spooky. <gasps> no! Spooky. I mean, kind of unlucky. I think it's worth going for, but... If I had Softwatch, it would have been a much better play. I'm hoping, I'm hoping... Echo doesn't come up here and kill me. I don't think I can stay, unfortunately. They do have four melee. That's a pretty good. That's a pretty good. Um, gore drinker comp. It's a rare one. It's a rare gore drinker comp, indeed. For those who don't know, I do like to go Divine Sunder for my base item. Uh, it's pretty much good into everything. You can never really go wrong. Gore drinker is better the more melee champions the enemy team has because enemy teams uh, melee melee champions will dogpile on top of you. So. Um, for melee, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good comp. There you go. Four drinker. <laughs> Ruben does have flash. Wait, did she use it when I flash? We see Echo butt site. Maybe that stopwatch on a button I can get too easily. I'm down in no man's land. I'm gonna use my body positioning to try to deny some creeps. Beautiful. That's a first strike. That's a really good first strike, too. 116 gold. Ult's coming back up. We do have stopwatch, so we can make a play under turret. And I use it to kind of... Den to... to Reset turret aggro. Again, I'm never, I'm never at risk here because I can always stop watch. I hear him. No, we see a couple bot. The only one left would be Silas who could be up here. We could probably get both turrets.
beautifully done. Oh my goodness, my dude. We can't get this right now, actually. We'll get it later. No big deal. It's not, it's not something to, like, int echo a kill or two off of. I'm trying to create for it. Beautiful. Or Riven. Okay, Echo is at Drake, but still, Riven's coming back too. I don't see, it. I don't die. see, much cleaner game. Obviously, Zed ganking early and blowing Flash definitely helped, but... I mean, we just played cleanly. We don't have to, like, deny yourself that credit. I mean, I could take this. It looks like Zed's just gonna come... Anthony's gonna come up, come up and farm it. I'll just start pushing again. I have ult on. First Strike's done uh, pretty well in the last few minutes. Plane of 100 gold. I see pretty much everyone on the map, so I'm not too concerned. Again, trying to proc my uh, first strike. And the, the three, the two people who are missing on the map, I would absolutely love if they came top to try to gank me. Good luck with that one. It'd be a Silas, Echo, Riven, 1v3, when I have Sopwatch, Flash. Okay, you know, or I can just play it absolutely atrociously bad. <laughs> or I can just play like the worst play ever. Dude, why are- Ah, oh, okay, you know what? It's fine. Riven's never pressing R again, apparently. I should've just gone for Echo, or for Riven on the E. I, I know Riven's like the worst player here, because I know G is like really solid, so I should've just gone for like the one on Riven. Then. Eh, yeah, no, I should go Syrinx here. No, I wanted that turret. Oh well. Go teleport. Oh wait, he's a support. Should one die. Fuck it. If I can sell till my R's back up, I could probably make a play. I did use everything on that last play. That'd be a little bit tough because they're um, ADCs up here. Who is my. Nemesis. Of course, the ADC. Ever want to play versus them? Keep your these minions in case the uh, Blitz is still up here. Oh, they have, they have Dragon Wing on right now. Wow. Fucked by that. I'm just going to keep sweating for now. Feels like I have a pretty good split push game. I just have to not focus on Echo. He's too uh, squirrely. Oh, 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 okay. Yo, can this, can this spirit die? Okay, I don't know how I didn't get a tentacle on the spirit when I ulted it. That was kind of weird. I like how Zaya is sit- I am so sick of ADCs the last two days. ADC is actually just sitting on me every time I get a fight. Oh, this sucks. Drake. I also get exhaust. Man, once ADC switched to exhaust, that was so annoying. So many plays get busted.
Close to ten. It's not like it's a brain, like rocket science or anything. Holy moly, man. I'm telling you, ADCs are literally the most annoying thing for allowing the world. What? I'm so low now, I've been pushed down. I'm afraid to go in. Baby, you got this. I believe in you. Oh, I don't believe in you. I, I lied. Wait, I do believe in you. I lied again. Yeah, we'll take that. Seric Sage would help a lot in these fights, but I mean, just ah, man, I hate ADCs, man. Look at this. Just so uninteractive for me. That's uh, it's what it is. I do have Flash R, so maybe I can make something happen. Hmm. I mean, luckily we have pretty good ways to get on the ADC with Zed and Viego. They got Drake, though. Uh, I mean, it's Cloud Drake, so it's not the worst thing ever. Wait, too many people up here. I should have been maybe down here with them. I could have just got in the pit and took the Drake. We do have better scaling, I believe, with the Rise. Dude, get out of bot lane! Come on, everyone's playing for this. Why are you bot? It's so bad. I can teleport top. I think she should rotate her. Getting trolled a little bit. I mean, in theory, our team should just take a belly right now. The Rotel? Should be happening. Ooh, Silas. We'll take the Silas 1v1. You know Zaya's over here. You get aggressive since Silas looks like he just wants to leave. You don't win that, my dude. I mean, it's so it's so one-sided. Like Silas, just Silas ult does like my ult does nothing for Silas. Then when I need to teleport, I'm gonna go and recall and teleport over. I mean, they they, they clearly are gonna know. It's fine. Like, it's a secret. Beautiful. That's all I need. Am I gonna? Anyone gonna do anything? And we're gonna kill the spirit? Oh, okay. We're trolling, I guess. I have no idea why Zaya's spirit didn't die. But it is what it is. Really sad. Also, I got hooked back in after a flash. Sucks, but... Like, 
Like if I land E on Zaya, it should just be a it should be an ace. Like one V9, there should be no win count for the enemy team. But if no one hits it, we still lose. It's like if the thing is if you you hit a spirit and no one damages it, did you did you hit a spirit at all? You know? You have to think about it. Oh, let's go take that Drake. That Drake went on for y'all, baby. I can just leap over. There's no way he'll be here. Nice. Where are we going next? We kind of built her Black Cleaver, but Fearvis would be pretty good as well. I really shouldn't fight this, but I really want. I really want to, you know. Mainly, mainly I shouldn't because Zaya's here. Yeah, will just make me sad. Oh, she's not here. I thought one of these was Zaya. That's kind of confusing. If Zaya doesn't rotate, I should take the fight. I'll take him. I mean, I have Black Cleaver to build it now. 3k health is really good. As you can see, this is why I want to build Spirit Visage. Because uh, this would be medicated significantly. And of course, the healing as well. I mean, I'll take a trade on a 1v3. It's trading for Blitz. It's not the best trade ever. But... I don't think you get that kill. So I can just R, you know. What do we got coming up? Ooh, that could be big. Not really. Up on four. Oh, baby, that damage. Oh, so much. Yo, this grudge is dead. Oh, that's not what you want to say. To the enemy team. Good Yeah, this like poke Z build with grudge is uh it's it's so much utility actually. No Zaya has grudge too, is this like the meta right now? I don't really keep up with like what people are doing. Um I'm just kinda do my thing. Oh so much damage. Take it. They're throwing wards around. Ooh, I hit something. Yeah, I probably can push this and back off. Objective bounties. Who's gonna have objective bounties? Us or them? What are y'all doing, man? Oh man, dude. Can't wait till I get Spirit Visage. Again, 80 pre pretty much all I got. God, I hate Echo so much. Hmm. I think Echo is too mobile for it. I think Echo is like the first thing that like led to Blue Cane. Think about it. As far as like risk reward for like what they can pull off, I think it's just kind of silly. Oh! Sure, nice, sure. I teleport on spawn. What do I need for this? 365? Oh. 
it's like gonna help me any. Oh, good. Did a drink. Oh, look at this. I wonder how much gold I got. Wasn't that a lot? That was a lot. But Echo is a... Yeah, yeah. I guess that's true. Echo's, at least Echo's, like, thing that makes him, like, risk-reward lopsided is his ult, whereas for blue can, it's his E. Pretty true. Oh, here we go! I can't run away. Dang, man. I do so much damage, though. Nice. Nice, let's go. Good job. Woo! Oh, we actually ended up 9 and 7. Wow. There's so many fights where I think if I had actually gone Black Clover or uh, Spirit Vision instead of Black Clover, I think I'd end up being like. Th this game, the difference between me being 9 and 7 and like 15 and like 3, is just like a couple of like small changes, but. Overall, I think the gameplay is pretty good. It's some pretty gnarly fights, but Alawi should be like a 1v9 champion in this same time. Alright, I like the numbers. I should have an absolute ton of damage. I should be top damage this game. If I'm not, I'll be very shocked. Echo might have outdamaged me. Because Echo just got to hit me for like 12 hours. Job, Anthony. Hey, promoted! Hey, and we're still getting like twenty-four LP. Yeah, I mean top damage, except for Zaya. Oh, never mind. I thought I would be, or I thought Echo would be. Fourteen fifty-six gold on the first strike. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Well, look at the damage chart or the gold per per minute chart that we compared versus Ribbon. Yep. I mean, just from the from the early on, you could see where we uh, just absolutely started stomping. This was the moment Zed came top and dropped the rift. That was big, 3k gold lead. End of the game, it's you know, 5k. Really good. Hey, hope you liked the video. See you all next time.